everybody will hear uh, no haul video today but what I am going to do a video about is uh, my inventory system I know it's been a long time coming uh, something I've been meaning to do for quite a while and uh, a good inventory is very important for somebody selling a lot of stuff on eBay uh, I currently have somewhere around 5400 items in my eBay store so it's very important that when something sells, I can easily go to where it's located, get it, ship it out. Uh, it's a system I came up with on my own. And uh, it works for me. Uh, there's probably a thousand different ways to do this. But uh, the system I have uh, works pretty good. Uh, so we'll be going over that. Um, probably a big, uh, some of the mistakes I made in the beginning was uh, using too big a box. You don't want a box that's so big that you fit a lot of stuff in it. And then it's a hard time finding uh, what you're selling. Uh, so I guess that really depends on the size of the items that you're selling. If you're selling really small items, you want smaller boxes. If you're selling large items, you need larger boxes, but not too large. Uh, some of the things I sell don't fit into boxes. Uh, so they they become loose. Uh, I have a whole, whole system set aside for that too. But uh, uh, inventory is very important. So uh, I'll take you down and uh, we'll go through the uh, uh, the room uh, where I keep the stuff and uh, show you how that works. So here we have uh, my back room where the inventory's uh, kept. Uh, something like 190 boxes of stuff. And my system in the beginning was, this was rack A. So it would be, this would be rack A, box one. Box two A, three A, and so on. Then I get down to row B and 1B, 2B and so on. Um, it kind of worked until I went through in the beginning I used all different size boxes and realized it'd be much better to have everything uniform. Uh, so as you can see the B boxes came all the way to here once I condensed everything up and then we started C but I kept the, the uh, system. If you were looking to do an inventory system, you could do something like this, or you could just number the boxes, start with box one, two, three, and just keep going on. You don't need necessarily need the letters. Uh, I like having all uniform boxes. Um, in the beginning, I tried to get all these, uh, what are they, Cat's Pride, uh, kitty litter boxes. They were a good size box. I just couldn't get enough of them. Uh, my goal was to get enough and slowly convert everything over to uh, those. But finally just couldn't get enough and uh, went and bought a bunch of boxes from Uline. These are all 20 inches by 10 inches by 12 inches. Uh, length width height. So Get how many boxes I got of them something like 200 of them so I'm down to like 10 boxes uh, but it worked out well you can see a few loose items here and there these are the items that uh, um, are too big to fit in a box um, those are marked every item if you look at my stuff on eBay every item uh, has a location in the uh, description like all of this stuff if you look up these cats it'll have a uh, location of either loose or L which we know is loose and uh, made these shelves so two by fours and plywood in the beginning a couple years ago they've really held up well uh, surprisingly all the videos I have the video I made about building these shelves is always my number one video. Um, it 
it's always surprising to me but uh, a lot of people want to learn how to make their own shelves and uh, these have done really well for me uh, 10 foot long uh, but I bought some smaller metal shelves over here and uh, you can see there's the O's, the P's, Q's. Uh, more there. And the last little bit down to the W's. So, uh, like I said, it works pretty good. And uh, I'll go get on the computer and go over some of the finer details for you. About... Uh, um, how the system works. Here's one of my old uh, papers. This uh, this system lasted about two weeks in the beginning of the business. Um, what I was doing was as, a, as we put the stuff in a box, we'd write it on a piece of paper. And then uh, when I pull it out, I would uh, scratch it off. But uh, that got old real quick. I just... Uh, it's not a good way to do it when you have a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, but this system works pretty good. And uh, let me go over it with you on the computer about uh, how I do it. Hey everyone, uh, down here in the home office. Notice the stuff up behind me. Uh, that's another place I keep uh, loose items. All that stuff is uh, currently listed in my eBay store. Uh, but let me go over some of the uh, fine points of the system that I use uh, for the inventory. Uh, take for instance, I just picked this at random. It's a uh, little orphan anti doll. And if you notice down in the description, it says 2C. Uh, if I go to box 2C, uh, that's where I will find this uh, doll uh, when it sells. Uh, a key point on my system is that uh, it's got a check and balance to it. And that's where uh, these legal pads come in. And every time an item's listed, the day that it's listed is written down and um, what's listed uh, too. Just in case if the person, when they're writing this description, made a mistake in that location isn't 2C for whatever reason you know maybe we were maybe uh, 2C was the box that we were using just previous to this um, or maybe they meant to hit 3 and they hit 2 uh, any number of reasons um, that could be wrong this is a backup to that um, you can see February 6th, for instance, this uh, lot, lot 8 Boy Scout cards. Uh, that's in box 5B. That was listed on February 6th. So if I wanted to check this out, what I would do is one thing that sellers can see is when the start time of the auction, March 24, 2015. Uh, that's when the auction started. One thing I have to keep in mind um, is that I always list my stuff as a five-day auction. If it doesn't sell, I'll convert that to a buy it now. So March 24th, 2015 is not when this was first listed. It was approximately, at, at, it, was, oh, it was at least five days before this. So go back five days on the sheet and we could see uh, when that was listed if and the very rare it's very rare that there's a problem but if we were to go to 2C and Annie wasn't in there uh, we would go back to the books look at the start time see March 24th uh, realize that the actual listing date was five at least five days before that go to that on the pad and then we can see when it was listed and also see the other boxes around that time 
like this a uh, lot of eight boy scout cards was in 5b but then we switched to 2s so if it's possible that that if it's not there it could be here um, so uh, it's a good way um, usually there's no problems at all but uh, that's my inventory system uh, any questions uh, feel free to ask